Quinta and for hosting such a great show. This is really cool. Um, I'm Christian. I'm a tech director for the Engine Group at DICE. And next to me, we have Jonas, a media and video editor. Uh, we're here to show you our implementation, our vision, our take on what RTX can be. And we want to show that in our new, brand new Battlefield 5. And in the setting, we'll take a look at our brand new multiplayer map, Rotterdam. And it's a really dense and cool city map. We'll start here in a very uh, zoomed in view of this soldier's eye. And we're going to observe something that we've never really been able to do before. Uh, so we at DICE have worked closely with NVIDIA engineers over the past year to get to the point where we are now. And we're so pr we're proud and thrilled to be here and show it off to all of you. So Jonas, I'll leave it to you. Take it away. Yeah. So what you're seeing there is a tank <laughs> firing off screen, being reflected in the character's eye. Now, you guys know this is not possible no. with, with screen space reflection, right, Jonas? Exactly. This is because the fire is not on the screen. So now if we turn around and we then see the environment, we can see that the tank muscle flash not only reflects in the eye, it reflects in the entire environment in the tram windows there and within the tank itself, moving here. So now if we keep moving forward, yeah. <laughs> Great. So of course, one of the big challenges of SSR is also complex surfaces like this. So now with RTX on, if we set off an explosion behind the tank here, but next to the car. Oh, we'll come see on. It reflecting accurately within the car. That's impossible. Of course. How would you, how would you do that with RTX off? Yeah, how does that look? Like this here. So let's, yeah. Wow, that looks on. incredible. <laughs> and it's, of course, it's updating dynamically everything. Reflections will never be the same again. Completely Look not. at the reflections off the ground, guys. It just, it just. Yeah, so you can see. Wow, it just happens. With, with SSR, if it's in the screen space, you still get some of the reflections upon the car. But due to the nature of SSR, it disappears as it goes away. But because ray tracing just works you just get the expected result, how you'd think you'd see it. So the next thing we have to show you is the big, scary crocodile tank, the Churchill. And if we make that one shoot, it's flamethrower across the scene here. Then we will again see that reflecting upon the surface and on the soldiers battling it out here in Rotterdam. So now if we look down in the ground with RTX on, we'll see the flame We'll see the soldiers moving. We'll see everything. And now if I turn RTX off, we lose everything. We lose all the detail, all the context of what's happening in the scene. But with RTX on, you just get a much more cohesive image and a better understanding of what's happening around you. So one thing <laughs> we also pay particularly much attention to in Battlefield is just the weapons, yeah, accuracy, making sure the slight or the smallest detail is correct. You can see even there, the flames are reflecting properly in the wood of this gun here and the, in the windows in the back. Now, if I turn RTX off again, you lose all this detail. So, yeah. Wow. Really cool. Now, Jonas, Jonas, what you guys have done is all of your guns, all of the objects are modeled physically. Exactly. It's physically based. And so, so the, the, the gun has wood, which is diffused. Is a dielectric material. You have metal, which is reflective, and the metal has substructure in it, microstructure in it, so there's some roughness in it. And so without doing anything at all, because it's physically based, we shoot a ray into that scene. It, inter it intersects with a triangle on that piece of metal on the site, and it figures out, I need to boink, generate another reflection ray, and it traces its way to the flame, which is coming by, and when it comes by, it accumulates on the surface. It shades it perfectly all by itself. Ladies and gentlemen, the magic of ray tracing. Exactly. And there's more. <laughs> <laughs> so what you see now are in objects that are really close by, but ray tracing works for more yet. So up here, we've got two C-47 airplanes. They've been shot down. They're crashing with their <laughs> on fire. So now if we go over 
to the car here, and you can also see the flame reflecting in the car nicely over there. So if we keep moving forward and then look down on this reflective car right here, we will still be able to see the plane. Uh, yeah, oh, if we move back here, we can see the plane reflecting in the car. If I move this lens flare, wow, <laughs> your lens flare works right good. There, yeah. And with RTX off, I love it. Everything other. Yeah, look at that. We can keep moving forward. Wow. And Jonas, you guys did a great job with Fresnel reflection. Look how, look, when the angle is just right, it's just a perfect mirror. It looks exactly. beautiful. So here is a good example on transparent surfaces with Fresnel and PBR rendering. The more of an angle you're at, the stronger the reflection gets. And now with what we had before, on these ones were just cube maps, which they're also static. Um, but with ray trace, you get a lot more detail. You see the entire environment. And of course, as I said, the, the old school cube maps, um, they are also static. So say that we were to destroy this building here, make a tank shoot it with ray tracing on, you will be able to see frostbites and battlefields destruction system within the window moving dynamically. <laughs> and now to end it all off, RTX, I mean, it works on the entire scene. So what if we were to shoot off a V1 rocket here and zoom out, get a good view of the entire street of Rotterdam, and then take a look at the windows, all the places that you would expect to reflect. So now I'll turn up the time again, and we just wait patiently for the V1 to hit the ground. And there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. Good job, you guys. Good job. That's really great. And, <laughs> and it's amazing what you guys did so fast. I know you guys worked super hard, but it's amazing how you guys implemented this stuff so fast. I mean, that's one of the benefits of ray tracing. You know, the, the benefits of ray tracing is because things are going to behave physically. Uh, you should be able to turn things on. If the rest of your system and your models are done properly, uh, you could turn these, these effects on relatively easily. I mean, it still takes a great deal of great engineering, um, but comparing to doing it the traditional way of arting everything into existence, the amount of engineering that has to be done is just significantly lower going forward. You know, hopefully, using the laws of physics, uh, when you guys create a scene, uh, things would just look right and behave accordingly. And so this is really just such a great achievement. Wow, things are still falling apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never given a talk in total destruction before. You guys do destruction great. You're great at destruction. That's a lot of pent-up anger there, sir. <laughs> Lots of great destruction. Okay, you guys made an amazing trailer. Let's take a look at it.